Welcome to Get Set HR. My name is Vaishali. So the topic that we are going to be discussing today is uh, Google Forms. I'll be explaining to you how uh, Google Forms are to be created because, you know, this is very, very uh, beneficial. People who are probably conducting surveys for their academic research or even HR professionals uh, trying to invite applications from uh, potential candidates so HR uh, people really need to be well versed and, and comfortable with using Google Forms, right? So uh, uh, let's begin with also to add to that, uh, I am making my very, very first video. So if there are any mistakes, anything at all, which you probably do not like and you have suggestions for me, you're absolutely welcome. Uh, just make sure that the criticism is constructive because that's how you help people improve. Right, so let's begin with Google Forms. Here we go. Um, okay. So when you open Google Forms, you will see two options. One is personal and the other one is business. So click on, and go to Google Forms. As you can see, you will find uh, a number of templates here for party invite, t-shirt sign up, contact information. There are more actually. Yes, and they're pretty beautiful. Job application, auto form. But today I'm going to be uh, using a blank form. Would be easier to explain. So, okay, this is how a Google form looks like. Let's add a title to it. Uh, for example, you are conducting a survey on employee expectations from organizations, right? So employee expectations, right? So we have the title. You can add a form description to it, like we as employees have lots of expectations and so on. I miss so and so kindly spare two minutes i hope you get the crux okay so we'll add a title we'll add a description now let's begin with the first question so usually in forms you will see the first question is name okay so for this you know go for short answer i'll coming to i'll be coming to uh, these options later on with the name specifically, you need to add short answer text, right? Now, how do you add a question? You add a question like this, clicking on this particular symbol. So say your second question is yours of experience. For this, you cannot use short answer. You have to go for multiple choice. So your option one would be, say, less than one year. Option two would be one to three years. Option three would be three to six years. So sorry. And the last option would be six years. Okay. And this is how it's going to be looking like. Okay. Coming to the third question using a different option. Um, okay. Say your question is let's let's use a linear scale this time. Okay, say your op say your question is my expectation from the organization has been met. Now there will be people who will be completely disagreeing to it. Also, there will be people who don't know, they're not sure, and there will be another set of people who will agree to it, right? Those are satisfied and and motivated employees. So we need to have all these options. You can go for multiple choice, but I would say the best way to go about this question would be to use a linear scale. So one would be say strongly disagree, and five would be strongly agree. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah. This is how it's going to be looking like. Say a person is not sure if his expectations have been met or not. That person would be choosing three, right? Let's take another question. Um, 
Okay, say your question is, my expectations on promotion. My expectations on promotion were based on. Now you have different categories, right? We go for multiple choice grid. I'm just showing you how a linear scale is different from a multiple choice grid. Say your first option is past experiences. Because, I mean, if you see it that way, a lot of expectations are formed based on what that person has faced or experienced in the past, right? Second could be gossip. Or it could be astrology. These are irrational factors, right? Uh, then we have wishful thinking. Very important. And last, let's let's take a logical factor. See hard data. Okay. Now for option one, you can have strongly disagree. Let's have neutral. Agree and strongly agree. Now let's check it out. Yeah, so this is how it's going to look like. So you see the difference between the two? Say under one question, you have different categories you want to, uh, you want responses on. So this is the way to go about it. Okay. Now, one last uh, thing. Say you want people to put up their suggestions. Now, their suggestions could be lengthy, right? So you're going to go for paragraph, which was already selected, right? So people can add as much as they want to. Now, let us look at some other features that Google Forms offer you. Uh, customized theme. So you can choose an image to make your form look brighter. You can upload your own picture or maybe... There are certain pictures that they have offered you. Let's just go for something like this. Yeah, so this is it. You can also change the theme color. Can you see it changing? Yes, you can change the background color. Make it darker, lighter, white. Up to you. I feel this goes nice. Yeah. With this, I guess. Uh, yeah, right. Also, you can change the font style. Although I like using basic and formal, there are two other styles you could go for. We have in C, this one, and the other one is playful. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. Hmm. Right? Uh, okay, you can preview the form this way. The respondent would be viewing the form in this format, right? Coming back, you can add collaborators. I'm so sorry, you can add collaborators. The way you can add collaborators on Google Sheets and Slides, right? Similarly, over here, we're having some options, importing questions. Adding title and description, I already told you. Adding images, you can add images for each question, by the way. Here is the option. For each question, you can add an image. Okay? You can add sections also. Say you do not want to continue the form in one section. You want the respondent to move on to the second se section for the second set of questions, maybe. This is the way to go about it. You can add videos, links, and a lot of other things. So I hope this video was beneficial for you. Any feedback? You're most welcome. You have my email ID, which is B A I S H A L I Beshali at getsrhr.com. Or you can comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel. I assure you, I would be coming up with a lot of meaningful content. Until then, take care and have a great day ahead.